You know, yes, she's the one with the life limiting illness, but freak accidents happen every day. And so while we're so busy focused on Mallory, you know, I don't want to miss out on what's going on with the other children. And so, you know, we try to do as much as we can with them. It, it hurts to have to go out and leave her home because for the longest time we took her everywhere with us. We, you know, we brought the nurse, we, you know, come on, we're going. Now that she's a little bit more fragile, we don't take her out as much. She hasn't been out since Christmas. Um, and that's hard for us to do, but we have to, you know, they're, they're growing too. And I don't want them to feel like their life, you know, gosh, I missed all my childhood because my parents were focused on Mallory and, you know, I mean, when th this started, they told us we had a couple of years with her. And so now we're a couple of more years than the couple of years that they gave us. So, you know, we're just taken one day at a time. And, you know, hopefully we have a lot more days left with her. But, you know, you never know. It's a little hard for me to, uh, to actually answer that one because, I mean, I'm still dealing with it myself. Um, because I know for me and Jennifer, for the most part, she takes care of Mallory um, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I pretty much kind of let her do what she needs to and I spend as much time as I can with, with Matthew and Madeline. And so we, It's a, it's a hard question because we're still working through it and I don't know if we're actually doing it correctly, you know, I mean, um, a lot of times it's me and Matthew and Madeline going and do something and Jennifer and Mallory stay home. There's few occasions when, you know, it's the four of us or when it's the five of us.